Whilst looking at the gypsy that we're delivering to Essex tomorrow, being finally prepared in the, uh, in the workshop, ready to go in its trailer, um, thinking of a long, hot day in the car, it's going to be a long, hot day for your chickens. We're up over 30 degrees now, so uh, I thought we'd put this little video together of some hints and tips for how to keep them cool. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Summer is with us. The long, endless summer, apparently 30 odd degrees forecast for weeks and weeks. Children are now on holiday, so all you mums are used to slipping, slopping and slapping with the t-shirts and the hats and the, and the um, sun cream. What about your chickens? Your chickens are naturally jungle fowl, so they're used to being in places where there's shade, even if it's warm. So you have to think about providing shade for your chickens. So first of all, how do you know if it's too hot for your chickens? Well, first of all, ah, something to think about when you're out in the sun, wear a hat. There we go, that's much more sensible. So, how do your chickens tell you that they're too hot? For starters, chickens don't sweat, they pant like a dog pants. So that's the only way they've got of getting rid of the, of the heat from their body. So what they tend to do if they're too hot is walk around with their beaks open, good impression there, <laughs> or a Labrador, with their beaks open and looking generally sorry for themselves. They'll be off their food, they may actually go off lay, uh, be drinking lots of water, and you may find them lying out on the ground with their wings spread out, just desperately trying to get rid of this heat that's, that's slowly boiling them. So watch your chickens. What we have to do is provide them with means of keeping cool. Uh, did I mention if it's sunny you should wear a hat? Well, we'll try this one. There we go. Half much better on my head. Crocodile Dundee job. Right, so there are many ways, obviously, of keeping your chicken run shady. Um, one of the best ways is if you've got a spare parasol, a spare parasol, you can put that up and the chickens will love that. They'll go underneath there. Nice bit of shade, especially if you can put it somewhere where there's a bit of breeze other thing you can do is get a builder's tarpaulin four sticks like a tent and then stretch it out above the ground they'll happily go underneath it and it'll be absolutely lovely and cool for them you can put that over your run or you can put it from your washing line to a tree or whatever you want to do just somewhere where they can get underneath they will absolutely love being able to go in the shade now there's other things we can do to help keep them cool. Um, did I mention when it's sunny, always wear a hat, very safe. Now to help keep your chickens cool, how's about cooling their water down so that they've got nice cool water to drink and put out extra drinkers as well. Now one of the ways you can do that is, obviously this is a big bottle, but it's just a normal squash bottle, lemonade bottle, Filled with water, throw it in the freezer for a few hours, it'll come out, oh, we have a helicopter, it'll come out frozen hard and you can put that in a drinker, obviously if you've only got a little drinker use a little bottle, or you can just put some ice cubes in there because it'll just lower the temperature of the water, they'll have regular drinks and it'll help lower their body temperature. Other things you can do with these frozen bottles of water, think about at night when your birds are shut up in the, in the chicken coop, they need as much ventilation as possible and obviously they're in there, nice big feather duvets they're wearing, they're going to get warm. So if you put one or two of these in the chicken coop, the fact it acts like a cold radiator and so it'll actually absorb a lot of that heat that's coming from the chickens. Great way of keeping the chickens cool. Now then, other things you can do, if you've got, ah, did I mention that when you're out in the sun you should always wear a hat. So, oh, that's better. There we go, much safer. Other thing you can do, if you've got a garden hose or a sprinkler, put that on for the chickens. If you can put it on a mist uh, cycle, where, where you've got the little nozzle on the top, just so it's a very gentle mist, you're not using a lot of water, but the birds will go under that, and just the fact that the water gets on them and evaporates will cool your chickens down nicely. One more thing. If you've got a nice electric fan, just a cheap one, it's lovely sunny weather, nothing's going to rain at the moment, 
drag out an extension cable and put a fan out there with your birds. If you put the fan where you're misting the water on the ground, that will take the temperature of the ground down by 10 or 15 degrees, and the birds will lie on that, absolutely love it. Okay, so that's ideal. Um, so that's pretty much covered most things. Obviously, make sure if you've got whatever ventilation you've got in the chicken house, wide open, don't close it at all. Check on your birds regularly. Um, and obviously keep a, uh, an increased lookout for um, parasites, lice, and all that sort of stuff, mites. This weather, they breed like mad. And if, if your birds are being, being um, parasited upon, parasited upon, <laughs> then obviously they're gonna go downhill fast with the added stress of the heat. Now, in the words of a friend of mine, an Italian friend of mine, Mario, when it's sunny, wear a hat, wear a t-shirt, wear sunscreen, look after your chickens, make sure they're cool. It's easy to remember, the, to remember yourself, remember the children, remember the chickens. Thank you very much. Go and get them cool. Just to demonstrate the use of a, uh, of a misting hose to dampen the ground, and then if you can arrange a fan to go over it, all the better. But if you can't, just the pure evaporation from the water off the ground will help cool your birds down. And you'll find that they'll come under and take a shower as well. Um, doesn't use too much water, don't have to have it on for very long. But uh, once the ground's nice and wet, you can turn it off, let them cool down.